Welcome to Seals on the Move, I'm Alex Seals. And I am Rosie Seals. We feel the need for speed as I take you on test track at Epcot in Walt Disney World, both in the present and the past. You'll get to travel on the current version of the ride as well as the original version. We'll follow that up with a review, a look at the post-ride area, and the gift shop. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. track. I haven't been on this version. I went on the original version that uh, wasn't all digital like. We're doing single rider because Rosie does not want to go on this ride. Rosie's not a not a roller coaster or any sort of fan of things that are similar to that. Look, fancy Chevy. And there's all the stuff if you go through the non-single rider line. So here's where you design your car, and Rosie's gonna take over the filming so she can film me designing my car. My park car. Oh, here it is. I think you put it on your park car. Let's see. Yes. Oh, I should do one. Ooh, cool. Uh, let's see, most important attribute to me, uh, efficiency. We do have Priuses after all. Okay. Ooh, I do like blue. That one looks really weird. Uh, So this is my vehicle, blue. It's got, oh, is that a light bed? But a blue on the vehicle. Automated driving technology activated. Welcome to the SIM track. We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface. Hold up now. Commencing sim car off road and extreme weather sequence. <laughs> Capability test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. The 
original version of Test Track officially opened on March 17, 1999, but it had technically been open since December 19, 1998. Test Track was overhauled and reopened in December 2012, giving the ride a more digital look. The original ride focused on testing cars, while the current ride is more themed to engineering. In the current version, riders are in sim cars, while in the original they were in test vehicles. The ride in the current version takes place on the sim track. Test Track replaced World of Motion, which shut down in 1996. There are multiple references to the old ride at Test Track. General Motors was the former sponsor of Test Track and World of Motion, but now it is Chevrolet, which is part of GM. Be on the lookout in the ride for the car's quote, turn right to go left. The ride vehicle is considered a slot car. Displaying power test results. Sim track performance testing complete. This concludes your performance testing. You will be able to see how your Chevrolet custom concept vehicle designs compare to the sim car after you disembark. Please watch your step as you exit. Remember to take all your personal belongings with you. Let's all start off. The torque and transmission load data are looking good. Great. Let's proceed to the rough road tests. You got it. Okay, let's try it again this time with the anti lock brakes. Braking! Alright, that's the way it ought to be. You see how ABS lets you keep control of the vehicle while braking. demonstrate some extreme test conditions. Okay. So Test Track now is very different from when I went in the early 2000s. In the early 2000s, it was um, a lot calmer of a ride until you get outside when you're going really fast. Now, it's really fast throughout the ride, and it's more of a thrill ride. And I think that's why they changed it, to make it more thrilling and not quite as standard while you're in, in the indoor portion. But I think it's a good improvement. I do miss kind of the physical elements that were present in the original Test Track. But I would say this is a, a, a well-needed improvement. 
Sorry for the shakiness on the ride. I did not have my gimbal because I didn't think it would be good for that and it really wouldn't have been. So let's see, there's my car up there. It didn't do too well except for the eco stuff. <laughs> like you, you can see your score throughout the ride, what you're doing. So I can hold the card here, or against the reader, I guess. <laughs> and then I can drive my car, it looks like. There it is. I get it. There we go. Oh, I guess I gotta hold this the whole time. <laughs> Probably should put the card away. This is not easy to control. I'm just going. Oh, this, I can't do it. It's harder than Mario Kart. <laughs> Test track gift shop. Yeah, they have all the different transportation over here. This 50th anniversary SU or <laughs> semi trucks. Got the buses. Test track bottles. Shirt with Mickey. So it looks like they've kind of gone away from the whole uh, crash test dummy theme they had in the early 2000s with the products in here gone to more of a digital look since it is more of a digital kind of um, design they've got in the ride now. I like those those coffee mugs though. Ooh, like all sorts of car stuff that really is just Chevrolet themed instead of Disney themed and I'm not really a Chevy yeah. fan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Random hats. Mickey hats too. And of course your classic Disney candy. Gotta have that. And pens. Gotta have pens. Appropriately enough, they do have Cars products in here. I mean, they'd be missing an opportunity, wouldn't they, if they didn't have Cars products in here, considering the theme of Cars. It's just your standard Cars products. Nothing themed to test track. Those look kind of cool. And of course, there's test track pins. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Which version do you prefer, the original or the current? If you like this episode, give us a thumbs up. Share this with your friends, subscribe to stay up to date with our adventures, and strike the bell to be notified when we upload. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is down below. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.